How's it going? Sunday, July the 21st, 2024. I'm covering Stan Musial. Box scores, stats, his accomplishments, 1941 through 1963. 22-year brilliant career. This video, 1949 season. 1948, he had his best year out of the 22 years. Stan Musial in 1948 was superb. He had a 376 batting average. That was his highest of his career. He had 230 hits, 135 runs scored, 131 RBIs. He had 39 homers. That was his high. And he had 429 total bases. Just shy of the record. The record is 457 total bases by Babe Ruth. How about 429 by Stan the Man Musial? Whew. So what does he do in 1949? He comes back and plays every game. 157 games. 612 at bats. You know the year before? He had 611 at bats. One more at bat, but 207 hits. The year before he had 230. So 207. Back to back 200 hit seasons. And that's his fourth one. It's 41 doubles, 13 triples. How about this? 36 home runs. The year before, he hit 39, 1948. Comes back and hits 36 more. So now he's a slugger. Not only a singles hitter, doubles hitter, triples hitter, but a home run hitter. 36 homers, 1949. 123 RBIs. This becomes his third 100 RBI season, 123. He had 128 runs scored. That becomes one, two, three, four, five. His sixth season in a row, 100 or more runs scored. And how about his average? 338. Now that's down from the 376. But it becomes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. His ninth. Season in a row, over 300. He walked 107 times. Now that's up from 79 the year before. You know what the pitchers are thinking? This guy's good. He's a good hitter. We're going to walk him more. So 107 walks, 1949. He slugs 624. That's down from the 702 the year before. A 624 is very, very good. On base, 438. And he gets 382 total bases. That's remarkable. 300 total bases. That's one, two, three. His fourth, his, his fourth time over 300. One, two, three, four. His fifth time, pardon me. Over 300 total bases. He has one 400 total base season, which was the year before. 429. He only has one. The record? You know, Babe Ruth had two 400 total base seasons, but you know what the record is? Lou Gehrig had five 400 total base seasons. Total bases seasons. That's a record. Nobody else approached it. Nobody else had three. A lot of guys had two. Stand the man usual, 1949. What a year. He had a 15-game hitting streak. He had 57 multi-hit games, 34 two-hit games, 22 three-hit games, one four-hit game. He hit for the cycle that year. Home run, triple, double, single. He had one cycle. 22 run scored games, five three-run scored games. He had a one four-run scored game. 22 Two RBI games, eight three RBI games, and four four RBI games. 1949, a great success for Stan the Man, usual. What else can you say about this guy? This is why I'm covering him. This guy had 3,630 career hits. That's why I'm going over his box scores, his stats, and his accomplishments. I'm really curious, and what I'm doing is I'm writing a book on Stan Musial. 
I'm looking at every single game you played, 3,026 of them. I'm looking at every box score. How did he perform? What was his best hitting streak through all the years? Which year was it? I'm, I'm going to find out. How many multi-hit games did he have? Career. I'm going to add them all up. How many two-hit games did he have? How many three-hit games? How many four-hit games? Five-hit games? Never had a six-hit game. How many uh, two RBI games, three RBI games, four RBI games, five RBI games? Stan Musial, what a player. All right, our next video, 1950. We're going to continue going, looking at his box scores and stats. We're going to go through the 1950, 50s every year. He retired after the 1963 season. We're going to look at it all. And then I'm going to do a recap on Stan Musial. Where does he rank among the greatest players of all time? So far in my book, I have three greatest players of all time solidly in the one, two, and three position. Babe Ruth, number one. I did a book on him. I looked at every game he played. I looked at all his accomplishments. It was mind-blowing. If you really delve into all the box scores of Babe Ruth, he's number one in my book. Number two was Ty Cobb for 3,000 games. Look at all his box scores and what he accomplished. He's number two. And the third guy, I wrote a book on Ty Cobb, too. The third guy, Lou Gehrig, I wrote a book on him. I had to look at every game he played, over 2,100 of them. He's number three in my book. Now, will Stan Musial be number four, or is there somebody else? I've got to look at Ted Williams, Roger Hornsby, Jimmy Fox, Joe DiMaggio. i got to look at these guys, Joni Gwynn. Some of the other guys, Al Simmons, some of these other Hall of Famers have put up tremendous numbers. Hannes Wagner. How about Tris Speaker, 3,500 hits? I got to look at that. I don't know where I'm going to put Stan Musial in my top 10. We'll find out as we delve into these tremendous ball players, their career accomplishments, and the way to do it is to look at their box scores and look at every single game and what they, their career accomplishments show. That's what I'm doing in these videos. We'll talk to you later. 1950 season for Stan Musial is next. I'm out.